Um, it takes a lot, lot more time. Um, I think, um, you know, James Krieger put forward an argument in, um, uh, in a podcast to do with Lawrence a while back when he talked about single and multiple sets and he said that if um, a single set exercise was, was as good as multiple set exercise for hypertrophy, then the studies would support, some studies would support a single set, some studies would support multiple set, and most studies would fall somewhere in the middle. And right now, most studies fall either in the middle or on the edge of multiple set, which means that there might be a, a causation um, or a cause and effect for multiple sets for hypertrophy. Um, and I think that's quite an open-minded way to approach it, especially from somebody like James Krieger, who most people would say is on the multiple set, from the multiple set camp. Um, I think that if we're looking to optimize hypertrophy, then we're probably past the point where we're doing resistance exercise for the health benefits. Um, and if somebody wants to do a second set of bicep curls, chest press, leg press, whatever it might be, then you know if they've got the time to do it, there's probably uh, the negative implications. You know, are, are probably minimal, um, and there might well be be positive adaptations. Um, I would still suggest, I still put more emphasis on motor unit recruitment and, and reaching muscular failure. Um, that's incredibly difficult to do. Uh, I would still contest that without a trainer, that's very, very difficult to do. Um, and that most people who think they reach muscular failure actually don't. Um, and therefore, a second set might actually be productive from that point of view, because they're maybe getting themselves closer to reaching muscular failure uh, or reaching muscular failure on the second set um, and therefore incurring the greater recruitment or greater metabolic stress and the mechanisms towards you know, muscle growth.